But he spent 17 days in the hospital and is now amazingly back home with his family. A Hill Murray football player had what a lot of people are calling a miraculous recovery from a brain hemorrhage. And tonight he sat down with Randy in an interview you'll only see on CARE 11. Zach Zerembinski walked out of the hospital on Tuesday, walked out of the hospital, a very lucky man. Lucky that all the pieces were in place on Saturday, October 27th to save his life. And tonight, he and his family, his dad, Dan, his mother, Tracy, and sister, Becca, talk about what happened that day for the very first time. So I don't remember anything from two days before the incident. Um, to about 10 days after. What's the first thing you can remember when you woke up? Well, I remember a being a little dro droggy and uh, in the ICU. So when people told you what happened, what was your reaction? I thought it was crazy. I couldn't believe it. I just remember the trainer coming over and telling Tracy and I, you need to get over here, Zach's got a concussion. And I started walking down towards Zach and I got over by him and he fell right over, right laid there and started went into um, shock and I just thought he was gonna die. Yeah. What was racing through your head? I was just praying. <laughs> yep, just. Yeah. Yeah, because you don't know. Yeah. Yep. Because the head injury happened during a football game, there was medical staff right there. The game was at St. Paul Johnson, just minutes away from Regents Hospital. All of that played a factor. 42 minutes. 42 minutes. Yep. Between the time you get put into the ambulance yep. to the time they operate on you. That's what they told me. Amazing. The neurosurgeon said he was on the edge. When the surgeon came in and talked to us, <clears throat> he said as soon as they removed part of Zach's skull, the pressure in his brain went. It just was like air coming out of a balloon. The viewers at home will see that your head, you have the swelling on yep. the one side. Does that hurt? No. Okay. It does not. I have no pain and I'm, I'm lucky. Through it all, older sister Becca kept all informed on her brother's amazing progress. I didn't want my parents to have to deal with that side of the things. I was like, let me just take that off your shoulders. You need to stay strong. And I just, I felt strength that I could do that. You and I talked on the phone today, Dan, and you called it a miracle. Oh. No doubt about it. I'm in shock that I'm doing so well. And like today at physical therapy, they had me running. No way. Running for uh, probably 20 feet. Wow. How so did that feel? That felt good. And if you're wondering, does the family blame football for what happened? The answer is no. I would play it all over again if I could. I love the game and my coach is unbelievable, Coach Pete Persich. Of course, Pete Bursich was a former Viking linebacker and head coach now at Hill Murray. What I saw tonight was amazing. This young guy still has a ways to go, but he's already talking about throwing the discus in track this spring. And his family wow. just wants everybody to know how grateful they are for all the prayers and all the support. It has meant a difference in Zach's recovery. I like to shirt prayer matters. He certainly mm -hmm. had a lot of people praying for him. And just to be clear, they're not sure football had anything to do with it. They this. really don't know at this point. They're going to hold a news conference tomorrow with their surgeon. Mm -hmm. Maybe they'll shed some more light on that. But the family clearly says they don't blame football for what happened to Zach. Wow, we're so happy for them. Yeah. That's awesome. Thanks, Randy. Yep. Let's check in